This week we are taking you to the highest navigable aqueduct in the world. To the fastest zipline in the world. To the summit of the highest mountain in Wales. And on the only public cable pulled tram in the UK. Welcome everyone. Today we're taking you on a little adventure. Or well, Marina is, anyway. Today's my very first road trip after passing the driving test and we are going to North Wales. And on the itinerary is hopefully to see Great Orm um, and to climb, hike, Snowdon. Well. Welcome to Wales. We made it. We made it all in one go. Pretty much. Only yeah. one toilet stop. Now we're going to, to have lunch and then start our adventures. It looks like it should be warmer than it is, but it's not that warm. Don't think I've been on the beach since um, about a year and a half ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. Our next stop is the Great Orm, and we are going to get there by a cable pulled tram that is over 120 years old. We oh, no high five. <laughs> to get to the top of the headland, we needed to change at the halfway station and get another tram. There are Kashmir goats on the Great Orm that were brought from India and Pakistan. I was looking out for them, but unfortunately, I didn't see any. Hey! You should be able to see uh, Blackpool Island and Isle of Man from here. How are you feeling? Cold. Loving it though. Yeah, it's lovely. So this tram has been operating since 1902 and it's the only tram line in the UK, public tram line, that is cable pulled. I think that's the right terminology. So yeah, it's kind of like a cable car, but it's a tram. It's like San Francisco, Wales. So we are staying in a tiny shepherd's hut today with a glorious, glorious view and we've got a hot tub and a sauna to warm up. Oh, 
cheesecake. Mm -hmm. What flavor is this one? You tell me. Okay. Uh, cinnamon. The first thing we're going to see today is Swallow Falls. It's the tallest waterfall in Wales at 42 meters high. The entrance was only two pounds. It's well worth the visit. Such a beautiful place. Our next adventure is to fly on the fastest zipline in the world over a turquoise lake nestled in an old quarry. We put on safety gear and started with a small zip to get used to the experience. Then all of us who were still up for the big zip got on this red truck and got taken to the top of the mountain which is 432 meters high for the second flight. I've done this about 10 years ago so I knew it's not going to be scary and even so just before the set off hanging and looking down I felt nervous. Flying over this lake felt magical. It's so unusual to be traveling at that height and speed of 118 miles per hour without any sorts of vehicle. I imagine it's kind of similar to how birds feel. I couldn't believe the view. Seeing the mountains of Snowdonia so close to the sea just didn't seem real. It felt very special. We accidentally walked into a vegan restaurant which is a bonus for me obviously so the food should be very good I mean, it look, does look good it looks really good Today we are going to climb Snowdon. It's a very cold morning, it's 8am, I wake up at 5.30 to get here. We packed up, got all our stuff, so we're just sitting off. It's the first time we're doing a hike this long, so not quite sure what to bring. I also don't have, we both don't have proper hiking shoes, but I've got very comfortable trainers that are very sturdy on the ankles. I've changed my mind about the shoes and I put my work boots that have ankle support. I think that's probably a bad idea, although they're less comfortable, so. Um, set of time, 7.40 a.m. We don't know where the path is, so we're just looking for the first sign. Have any expectations? It's going to be really flat and most of it's downhill I've been told. Um, my favourite kind of hill is downhill. All else fails, there is a train. We're so lucky with the weather this weekend. Today's meant to be sunny and dry. I'm taking this hike kind of seriously. 
I've read up somewhere that we need three litres of water between us, so we're setting off with a heavy backpack. So far so good. I don't know if you can hear me, but we're just going to get into a shady area. Hopefully there'll be less wind. We stopped for lunch in a quiet spot. Breakfast. Our breakfast. Yeah, it's been about an hour in, so ready to have some food. It's really nice to find some pockets of no wind. But overall, there aren't that many people here. I have to say I was expecting to be very busy and it's, it's quiet. Snowdon is the highest mountain in Wales and England. It's 1,085 metres or 3,560 feet above sea level. There are six main pathways to the summit of Snowdon and we are taking the easiest and longest one, the Clunberry's Path. There is an endangered flower called Snowdon lily that is only grown on this mountain in the UK. It flowers from May to July, so we haven't spotted it. It got busy at the top, but we didn't mind queuing as it gave us a chance to spend more time enjoying the view. On a clear day, you might be able to see around 18 different lakes and 14 other summits that are over 3,000 feet. That's it, that was Snowden. We're gonna have a lunch with the view. Can do, yeah. How are you feeling? Good. I'm glad we're going downhill now. Uh, but yeah, fine. Looking forward to that plane. Guinness, I think. Okay. Maybe I'm two. I'm going to have two Guinnesses and then you're going to drive me home. <laughs> Some lunch. I know we've had two breakfasts, but it doesn't really count when you go up a mountain, does it? We've gone for pure efficiency and walking down the train track. So going back down is a little bit painful. It's not, it's colder, so I'm wearing extra layers, but my toes are hurting because my shoes are not meant for hiking. Um, they've got steel toe cups, I think. The summit can also be reached by Snowden Railway Line, which opened in 1896. And it runs from Clumberries to the smallest mountain top cafe in the world. This railway was designed to attract more visitors to the mountain to compensate for the loss of income from the declining mines at the time. A fully working mountain railway from Switzerland was imported and this is still the only rack and pinion railway in the UK. Someone's just put the key in, but they didn't have a So cool. Oh no, imagine it's worth if you chops it down. The legs are fine, but my feet are hurting. What are you laughing? Is it your forward facing test? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you walking backwards, Miles? <laughs> Why else are you doing it? Does it hurt less?
our last day in Wales and we couldn't leave without seeing the aqueduct. So we're going to go and walk up there. Hopefully it's not going to rain for the next 10 minutes and we can show you guys what the view is like. Pontefract <laughs> All right, here it is. This is the world famous Pont Cysylltd Aqueduct on Clanglochlin Canal. Hard to pronounce, I know, but I had to try. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was built in 1805 for narrowboats to cross the valley in North Wales. Look how narrow it is. The views are just incredible from the top. We would love to cruise this aqueduct on a narrowboat one day to have the full experience. But for now, we are watching others glide 38 meters in the sky. This looks made up of all different bricks, I think, why that? We're just going down under the aqueduct. Oh gosh, it requires walking down, downhill, and we're both in so much pain. All my muscles started to hurt yesterday, straight after, literally as soon as I went down the mountain, and today I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. No blisters though. Someone put a stone here to stop people from walking through. We can tell thousands of years of defiance. They go for a walk. You know how they go for walks? Are you guys going the same way? Turn it right here. Come in. We're going right. No, you're done. The left. Thank you all so much for joining us on this exciting and very windy adventure. Let us know which activity you enjoy the most. A big thank you to our amazing patrons for supporting our films. This week we are hosting an online meetup so if you would like to join you can find all the details on Patreon. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.